Mr. Braggabitch child Blame it on my trips Blame it on the gang I let this bitch let this bitch go Podcast radio, and I have to let them know who it is, baby. Well, I go by the name of Blue Jay Wayne, team. You know, I know what it is. And before we get into where he is and all that, getting a bag and all that, let's get back to the basics. Did you choose music or did music choose you? To be honest, I feel like it chose me, like honestly. Cause like, when I was younger, I, I used to rap, but that shit used to be trash as fuck. But then like, I started going through like traumatic experiences that led me to keep doing music. So, like, and what do you mean by that? Like uh, like when I was younger, like I had a, my boy, like one of my best friends named JB. He was my producer. He used to make my beats, engineer me, all type of stuff. But um, he ended up getting killed. But like his passion for me, like with music, like, he had a strong passion for it, and he used to think that I was gonna make it. Like no doubt, you feel me, son? And that's you know. what his his belief in you made you say, "I'm gonna keep doing this." Exactly. When did you say, okay, I'm about to become, when did you put the name behind it? Did you always have that rap name or did you have no, the first one? No, my. What was the first one? It was Blue Jay, but it was Blue Jay YHF. It stands yeah. for Young Hood Famous. We had a little music group. And, uh, you know, my brother JB used to tell me, like, man, you got to be careful, like, who you're dealing with. Like, everybody not on the same page as you. So you got to do your own thing. Like, start something different. Like, start Wayne Team or something, because I had a song called Wayne. But, like, me and, like, the little music group, I was, we was falling out and stuff, but. Yeah. And then you say you just said I'm gonna still keep the blue jay and keep it going. Yeah. When did you start putting some business behind it and saying you know what, I'm gonna start really going to the studio and really taking it serious. I mean I always was like, I always go in the studio, but like as far as taking it serious, like 2016, like right after he got killed, like 20, nah 2015 I was still in the streets. He got killed 2015, but 2016 I was like nah I gotta do this shit for real. I was seeing so much stuff like that I was feeling like, damn, if I was doing music, I wouldn't even be involved in half of this shit. I'd be doing shows or something, or making some money or something, you feel me? What makes you say I'm gonna stay in this relationship with music when it's not always something easy? They say being a rapper is one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. This is dangerous as fuck, but uh, what made me stay in it? Uh, I guess my passion, like, I, I love this shit. Like, I know like a lot of people do it for the money and shit. Like, I started seeing like I can help people get through their problems like when it comes to like certain songs like I think I might be feeling that type of way that day, you feel me? Like I listen to music to go on by what I based like based on what I'm feeling that day, you feel me? Like okay. might be mad, sad, happy, but I'm gonna find a song for that. So I see like what it could do and how it could touch people, so I just keep going. I tell people all the time like they be like having all these different songs and what genre to drop, I'll be like, you need to drop drop a life song because a life song is something that is transparent. And people gonna relate to that. Not everybody gonna relate to money, popping, having drugs, and out here really in the streets, but people can always relate to real life. Exactly. Like, real life. Like, I can't like, like, when niggas be talking about, like, being rich and niggas driving Lambos all day and shit, like, I don't really listen to that type of stuff, because I ain't doing that really, you feel me? But every time that I do listen to it, I'm like, damn, I can't wait till I get to that level, you feel me? Yeah, I guess it is levels to music. How do you balance between trying to stay, you know, one foot in and one foot out. I mean, now you have different opportunities, but how did you? How do you balance, you know, what to invest in and what not to invest in? What shows to be at? What shows not to be at? How do you balance that as an artist? Just sometimes you can't. Like sometimes you gotta. Well, well, now I can because I know exactly what I want. But like it was to the point where I didn't know. Like I was like everything beneficial. Like I gotta get my name out there, but. I guess I had to start doing shit to see what I don't want. So like, I invested into a lot of shit. I know it don't work, and, but I'ma try it. But yeah. let's do it, and I did it. Learned my lessons, so now I'm starting to learn like, not everything beneficial, you feel me? Not everything beneficial, so. Yeah, that's definitely true. So when you look at yourself now, you know, um, you just, I, I seen you at South by Southwest, mm -hmm. you feel me? How was that experience for you? That was like, probably like the best investment I ever made. Like, I met Salsa Walker, I met- Pause, how was that? I mean, I seen like that. That's like my brother. That's like, like that nigga like Salsa Walker like showed me love. I got a number on my phone, I just talked to the nigga the other day. But I seen him in uh, BET weekend, all type of shit. He told me to come to his birthday. And that's like a real good yeah, that's friend. That's a, you know, a great plug to have. How does that, 
how does that make you feel like as you know you go to South by Southwest you already know it's a great opportunity but you really go and you really meet people like how was it the experience I, it was it was different to like well, I, I'm used to like being around like seeing artists and they don't know who I am or like seeing artists I don't get to talk to them and shit like that I'm not really like no starstruck person I see you I look at you as a regular person but South by Southwest, everybody was equal, it felt like, you feel me? Like, Definitely. Like, big artists like Louis Ray. Uh, TK Kravitz. Yeah, Corey SSG, uh, Boozy, Tootie Raw and all them. And they was like, what's up, Blue Jay? Like, they chopping it up with me, like, really, like, rubbing shoulders with me, like, having normal conversations, like, some shit I would never have been able to do if I never put myself in that predicament, you feel me, so. Definitely. It was, that was when I seen you out there, you had the street lit. You was doing your mic mm -hmm. drop. You feel me? What what comes? What what did that moment do for you as an artist? Like we're coming back now, back to LA. You know, it, um, months after. What is it? What does it do for your mind? It put me on a whole another level. Cause like, ain't nobody did that out here. Like, I don't. The only person other than me that did it was was Spiffy Luciano. You feel me? And that's my boy. We did it together though. You feel me? That part. So we was the first in Cali to do something like that. And on top of that, it's like. It's different. Like people be doing live performances where it be their homies in the background, all this type of stuff. But like we had real like names. We had Sauce Walker in the video. I mean in the live performance. Uh, Tootie Raw, Peso Peso. You guys had the whole street out there. We, we had, the all the celebrities. It was, was lit, equal. lit, definitely. <laughs> Yep. I feel like Southwest really showed me that um, sometimes you really gotta go that extra mile. I didn't even, I went, didn't even know how it was gonna go for me, and I really turned it around and made it a one. And I, I got to meet TK Kravis. He like, yeah, let me do a drop for you. Mm -hmm. And you know, with so many people that was like, they love Cali. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like they love Cali more than people that in Cali love yeah, Cali. Yeah. And they'll tell you though, they'll tell you like, especially Texas. Texas got so much love for like the Cali people, like for sure, like they. I ain't gonna say they look up to us, but they, they get a lot of stuff from us, you feel me? And they, and they take it, they run with it, do it differently. But what I can say about Texas is like they so Cali love, cause they still the West, you feel me? That part. Yeah. So, fast forward to you go to South by Southwest, you got all these connects, and then you come back, and then the internet hits the waves, and it's like, Blue Jay's been signed. Mm -hmm. How did mm -hmm. that come about? Uh, Honestly, it was really like, everything came from South by Southwest, to be honest with you, like, I was getting calls from like different labels or like I was getting calls from uh, managers, producers, all type of stuff. So uh, one of my boy Vaughn, my boy Vaughn, he plugged in with Empire and stuff. So he was like, hey, come to, come to Arizona real quick, bro. Like I got something good for you. So I go out there. I ended up meeting uh, my um, entertainment lawyer. Like she's an entertainment lawyer. She's also um, an entertainment lawyer for Tusi, um, Kalan for real, for real. Like, a lot of big artists, you feel me? So, mm -hmm. which is his wife. It's my boy wife as well. I didn't even know this. I'm just thinking he a regular dude. But come to find out he part of Empire. So I ended up signing the Empire with distribution and stuff like that. So that's yeah, what's up. That's pretty dope. And what did that what did that what did that moment feel like for you just having having that moment that was it overwhelming? I wouldn't say it was overwhelming because like I feel like I should have been, took these steps. So it was like, I just felt like it was perfect timing more than overwhelming, you feel me? Okay. I should've took the necessary steps to be where I'm at right now a little earlier, but I mean. Shit. Better late than never. Exactly, okay. it's all about timing. Yeah, I realize in this, in this game, it really is about timing because certain things you can come to you when you wasn't even ready. Exactly. You know what I mean? I had shit come to me when I wasn't ready and I, and I blew it, you feel me? Like 2016, 20, 2016 to 2018, I was like probably like, not more popular than I am right now, but I was probably at the highest point that I ever was before in my career, even after till 2021, 2022. Like, you feel me? I was, I was at the highest point like I, I had ever been. Like, I was meeting up with Priority Records, Capitol Records, uh, Atlantic, all these labels and stuff. And it was like, I was getting all this stuff coming to me and I was still in the streets. You know? Like, I had my kids and stuff. They was calming me down when I was still like, worried about being in my hood and stuff like that. And, so this chapter now is different for you? Way different, because it's all about business. Like, you know, like, I see my homies all the time from my hood, but it's like, what's up? I'm out of here. Like, or I'll pull up, get into politics a little bit, then I got to really realize who I am. And I got to step away from that, you feel me? So right now I'm more focused on the business, because it ain't about being in the streets no more. 
that's what got us to feeling the way we feel now, you feel me? Yeah, definitely. So what are you going to do differently? I mean, there's everywhere you look, everybody's dropping the mixtape. I think I'm finna drop mine next. You feel me? I'm thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really got on for sure, but I'm thinking about having a little intro. Mm -hmm. So what is going to make you a different rapper than all these other rappers? Um, the consistency and the, um, the style. Like, I don't, I don't have the same style as nobody else. Like, I don't really like, I don't, like, if I see somebody do something, I, I won't do it. Or if I do it, I'm gonna do it better. Like, that's why I'm starting to notice, like, we was just talking the other day, like, how everybody be doing videos with, let's say, Lamborghinis and stuff like that. Like, everybody wanna do a video with a Lamborghini. My boy just told me yesterday, like, you can't not do it because somebody else did. You gotta do it, you just gotta do it better. Like, like I've been doing, like, I don't know, it's just, you know, you gotta, you gotta stand out. So I'm gonna stand out for sure. If you could give some advice to your 15 year old self, what would it be? 15 year old self? Like if you could tell your 15, if you could look back right now and tell the 15 year old self, his head probably a little bigger than yours right now. Big 15 year old soul and head kid, what would you tell your 15 year old self? Go home. <laughs> <laughs> go well, home. I ain't, I ain't go home. I used to be in the streets and that's why I feel like I got to the point where I was at in 2015, 2016. Like I was lost. I was thinking about the wrong stuff, but that's because I, I grew up on all of that. You feel me? I grew up with everything that I've been through. I grew up seeing stuff that I chose to see. You feel me? It wasn't because I was forced. Like nobody's forced to see nothing they don't want to see. If you don't want to see it, you just get out the way. But so I tell myself to go home, stay in the house for real. For real, for real. So now you got distribution with your music. You feel mm -hmm. me? You drop. You. What's next? What's next for you? Uh, shit. Honestly. I, I wouldn't say I want a, I want a real label deal right now, but I'm working towards getting something more than, than just the distribution. More than distribution now. Yeah. Exactly. But um, yeah, right now I'm just doing a lot of shows, you know. I'm selling so you're out. going on tour though next. Yeah, I started my tour yes was no the day before yesterday. Yeah, be popping. You got your boy uh self paid boss newborn yeah. out there. My boy newborn, yeah, he came out with me on uh Two of the, I mean, one of the shows, I went out with him yesterday, popped up on his little event. She was pretty dope, he did pretty good too. Yeah, I mean, I gotta go great sound together. What, the, what are you taking into this phase of your music and you now, like, you know, on a different label, you're on a different, you know, you got a different mindset for sure. So what are you gonna take with you into this new chapter? You got new music dropping for us? Yeah, I got, I got a lot of new music right now. Like, I got over like 100 songs I didn't even release yet. And that was just recorded like 2023. That I ain't even drop, but I'm focused right now. I'm focused. I'm pushing blame on the streets, yak baby, and uh, and uh, do what I do right now. Okay. But I got hella shit about to drop. Like I got features with big artists that I ain't even announced that I got yet. All right, we're going to let's know some of them just for us who just might want to know a little choir. Might just tell us a little bit of it, you know. Right, I got I got some, some shit on the who's way. Some, who's some features that we might need to be looking forward right, to? Right now, I, I got some shit with the uh, Baby Stone Gorillas. Oh, okay, shout uh, out to Baby Stone Gorillas. They know I'm a fan. And, shout out to EK. He said he gonna help me get the next. Yeah, I need EK to rerun that. Boy. I, got, I, I got need got to rerun that day interview. Yeah, I got I got one with him too. Um, who else? Who else you got on there? Come on, tell See, us. See, I, I, I got some names on, on this. On come this on, album, drop this. Come on, you can give us a little another name, a little fun stuff. Come on. Shit. I got, so I got, I got, I got a TSF. In here. I got an artist from TSF. Okay. That's Sauce Walker family. Oh, okay. Too so you much went ahead sauce. And grabbed you. So yeah. now you got too much sauce on there now. Too much sauce. So you, you got you, you got everything going in the right motion for you. You feel me? If you can do a collaboration with anyone dead or alive, who would it be? Mm. Right now, um, shit, I'm always saying the same thing. T Grizzly, you know, yeah. T Grizzly is my favorite artist. Um, what is about T Grizzly? Like, I love T Grizzly too. I just want to know what you love. What you like T about T Grizzly? He just, he, he just, just he's not he versatile. He's he telling the story that he actually been through. He ain't just like, he ain't none of these niggas that be saying that he a street nigga and really not a street nigga. But other than that, shit. Who else? Female, who would you do a collaboration with? Female, um, give it up for the females. Come on now, female. Who would it be? Mulatto, Lotto, for sure. Lotto. Oh, yeah, that'd be dope. Lotto, you need to go on and jump on that. Lotto, that'd be dope. tight. 
Well, you're gonna be know. you gonna be ripping out the plastic acting brand new and all for that. Sure, for sure, I'm I can ripping see me out the plastic I've been acting brand new. Okay, <laughs> I can see you now just with your trash bag rubbing out. I think I didn't only do that TikTok one time, like bring me out the plastic. I was thinking about it, but I don't know. Ever since I seen that kid grab the plastic and suffocate his mama, mm -hmm. I don't trust my kid. My kid. My daughter different. just did it this morning. Just walked in the room. Bring me out the plastic. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> what you talking about? Hey, that's how you know. <laughs> Shit really got to be trending out here. You feel me? Shit really got to be trending out here. For mm -hmm. sure, for sure. That yeah, part. Okay, so now I want to, like, ask you some questions. Like, I feel like you're a seasoned artist. You mm -hmm. feel me? So we're going to play the this or that. But before we get into this or that, I want to ask you, what do you feel like artists are doing these days that wrong? Shit, trying to follow the trend and keep up with, like, the new style of music. Just be yourself, like. I ain't never switched my, I mean, I've switched my my swag, but I never switched my style, though, you feel me? Like, what I mean by swag, like, I might ride a beat a little different, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But I always sound like me. I see a lot of people catching on to different waves. They want to be like the Bay or be like Detroit. And, so how do you stay yeah. between being versatile or trying new things, but then be be looked at like you're switching up? Okay, you, 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 can stay, you can change your beat selection for sure. And you can, like I said, you can change up your swag, but keep your style. You know what I mean? Okay, I feel that. I feel that. All right, so I'm going to ask you some this or that question. So, right. is it 7 Up or Coke? 7 Up. Is it Jack in the Box or McDonald's? Jack in the Box. Okay, cool. I might be able to. You might be able to be cool. Gravel leaves or uh, loose leaves? Loose leaves. I know. Gravel leaves are nasty. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gravel, I'm sorry, man. I don't, I don't even know. smoke like that, but I mean, if I smoke, I smoke with loose leaves. Yeah, I like loose leaves. Shout out to loose leaves. They good. Or the loud logs. I'm fucking with the loud logs, too. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so is it Nicki Minaj or, or Mulatto? Mulatto. You didn't see the picture I just posted with it? Oh, no. I, 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 I touched the ass and all that. Ooh, how did that, that was cool. That she she moved a little bit. Then I, I did it again. She was like... All right, you ain't gonna stop, nigga. So go ahead. <laughs> that had to, that, that felt good. Did yeah, you not did. wash your hand for the rest I of the day? Wash it. I ain't wash it. I still ain't wash it. Ah oh, damn! I wish pretty, I would have known that. that. <laughs> I should have known that. We gotta make sure we wash our hands around here, people. No. But you know what? I had my little beat. I had a bomb last time at the BT experience where yeah. I got to go to the red carpet live show. Shout out to BT for letting us come out there for two that days part. and record. That I part. got to see finesse two times. Mm -hmm. Chopper. It was a uh, yeah. We had, my yeah, boy. we had Master P, T I, Jeezy. Um, G Herbal. I mean, it was just everybody you could think of. It was like BT. And then I got to like hang out like this with Boosie and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was like, I thought I was going to meet Boosie and take him to the bathroom, but I wasn't brave enough. Um, I was like, yeah, I could see the other ones that was brave enough and he was bending them over and stuff. I was like, damn. I was like, okay, when I see Boosie, I'm going to take him in the bathroom. I'm going to fuck Boosie in the bathroom. But it, didn't, <laughs> but it, didn't, it didn't work like that. When, when you see him, you be thinking it's going to work like that. I just turn into a geek. Like, there's a lot of things I can help you with if you want me to. I was like, Boosie's so, my boy. Yes, man. Boosie, I thought I had it in me, but I didn't. Well, I'm going to call him one of these days. I'm like, hey, Boosie. She was trying to get you to take it to the bathroom. <laughs> I was, I was, but I didn't have I'm, it in I'm going to Tootie because, you know, I'm, I'm plugged in with Tootie, his son. I don't really, I, I mean, I met Boozy. Man, his time, daughter, but. though, I was watching her freestyle. That's my dog. Her I freestyle be, is fire. You know I what I mean? I be my dog, too. Like, she was on stage with me in South by Southwest. Man, she is fire. Yep. She was super fire. I said that to myself. All right, so is it Jay-Z or Nas? Nas. Biggie or Tupac? Biggie. Lil Dirk or Lil Baby? Dirk. Oh, wait. Dirk. Yeah, Dirk. Dirk ain't got no snitch allegations. You feel me? So, oh, I hate when people try to put politics nah, in rap. No. Take the politics out of it. We're talking about rap nah, skills. Rap is it is Lil politics. Dirk or Lil Baby? Nah, it's Dirk. Dirk. Rap is politics. Okay. Okay. Dirk for sure. Is it Lil Wayne or Snoop? Lil Wayne. Yeah, okay. I love Lil Wayne. That's that's my. Yeah, idol. me too. I love Lil Wayne too. I think I, if I was to be a rapper, I'd be something like Lil Wayne. I, I just met his. Uh, I took a picture with his uh, manager, Teezy. Man, tell Lil oh. Wayne if you wanted a female, you I'll get to rapping. You feel me? But I, I just I, I'll get to rapping. <laughs> you feel me? But I just ain't got it in me yet. You feel me? So yeah, on this or that, I need to ask. Uh, um, who was the other one I wanted to ask you? Because I know it was some LA shit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, uh, what's his name? La, uh, what's his name? Kendrick Lamar? Are you fucking with Kendrick Lamar? When you talking about some LA shit, is it Kendrick Lamar or YG? 
Kendrick, for sure. For sure, right? Because sure. somebody the other day was like, YG, and I was like, well, you know what? YG is cool on a party song, but like, he's never made me think. Yeah, Kendrick didn't. Kendrick got how you like. Kendrick, hey. Kendrick will have me thinking I need to go put a rap on and like start going outside really? checking or something. You feel me? Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I feel like I ain't doing enough for the movement or something. Like, what am I doing with my life? You feel me? Kendrick Lamar really makes you think. You feel me? Who, when, if somebody was to go into Blue Jays' playlist, what's in Blue Jays' playlist? Uh, right now, I have some white people sitting on my playlist. Okay, I, so. Asher Roth, I Love College. Oh, right. That's you, your song? Yeah, I love that song. But nah, you, you'll probably catch some of that a little that bit. Ain't, that ain't in my playlist. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that ain't in my playlist. I in. love college. I'm about to go to this concert coming up at the Garden Apple. Okay, Blue okay. Too. All right, shout out to him. I'm gonna I'm put it in my I'm gonna add that in my playlist. But that definitely ain't in there right now. But nah, um, you catch uh, some some uh, Tapri Grams. Uh, okay. You catch some some uh, Bino. Okay, shout out. And to some Bino. Uh, Ain't no bad blast song either. And some skillers, some skiller baby, for sure. And oh. my music. Okay, for yeah. sure, for sure. What is one when you think about your music, what is what is one of the artists out here that inspired you as an artist growing up? Uh I Come feel on. I feel like I kinda like like started my sound based off of listening to a he an IE artist too, his name Wasim. Okay. Wasim, that's one of my that's one of my dogs. But um I used to love his music. He had a song called All Off a Brick. I'm like, damn, he got the auto tune, he rapping with it. That's dope. I want to try the auto tune. This is like 2014, 2013 type shit. And that's when you start playing with different sounds? Yeah. And then uh, I learned how to do it like a lot differently from him. Like, we don't sound like no nothing. Like 2015, I learned that I could do the auto tune. So that's, I only stuck with auto tune from 2015 up. You feel me? But um, he definitely inspired my sound. And uh, shit, my boy Crush. I, it wasn't that he inspired my sound. It was just like he he told me to keep going with that too as well. You know, like I used to record in their garage all the time too. Like, no, nah, go to that auto tune you had on last time. So what's up with the visuals? You got the visuals coming? Yeah, I got um I got a lot of videos. I got uh, some shit dropping called um Justice for the Faces. It's like a uh, police brutality video. That's okay. what uh, my cameraman rest in peace, Ty. Okay. Uh, we got another video. 100k iPhone, me and TY, but he never finished editing it, so I'm about to get the footage and take it to my other boy, have him chop it up and shit, but I have a lot of visuals on the way. All right, so you got the visuals on the way, popping. So, mm -hmm. so. See, like, what I love about LA artists is, is like, we go through so many things in our life that I feel like through doing music, if you really stay with it, you really figure out your true destiny in it, whether it be being a producer, being a manager, mm -hmm. or whatever the case is, you feel me? So, you know, I feel like you, you so seasoned as an artist, do you see yourself when they have an artist? Uh, right now, I got a couple, I got a couple little prodigies that's like, I'm working with. <laughs> like, okay. But I, I'm, I'm definitely looking into like having my own artist as well, but I think I can't do it yet because I got to focus, you know what I mean? I gotta focus. I see um, a lot of artists that grab artists and put them under them, and they artists surpass them too fast. You know, like yeah. I, I see that way too much. I yeah, that's I where I focus. feel. I feel like I ain't became who I need to become yet before I start being exactly. somebody else's everything. You feel me? But so everybody be asking me for advice. I give them straight up advice. Like, is that what I feel? I'm gonna tell you like, nah, bro, do this. You feel me? Like, nah, do this. And that's all I can do is give advice. You feel me? So has life been a little bit different for you since you've had? I mean, people don't really don't know what distribution signing means. They just been like, you signed something, you're a millionaire. You're a millionaire. That just means you just <laughs> got to put in a lot of work to put something out there to sell. That part. Does that, has life shown you a little bit differently since you've had that post? Hell yeah. I, even, I got people tapping in with me. I got a nigga calling me cousin right now. I got a lot of niggas calling me cousin, but I had a nigga calling me cousin and getting mad at me because I won't send him no money. And he know damn well I ain't his cousin, you feel me? Like, I don't even know you, nigga. <laughs> like, but nah, I didn't have some weird ass shit going. Like, I got homies that switched up, you feel me? I got niggas that you know, started rumors about my name. All type of shit since this shit happened because I won't fuck with niggas because I ain't been fucking with them, you feel me? And so I can't switch up now because I signed a deal and y'all just want to be around me. I, I'm not about to revert to being the same thing I used to be. Yeah, I realize that. I realize with this shit, you got to be willing to gamble everything you love. 
and lose everybody you got in order to get what you want because this shit dangerous as fuck. It's, it's so many people that will have that. My mom used to have to say the third eye. You never know, like you don't know if they happy for you or jealous for you. You don't Therefore. know, you know. So you definitely have to be safe. You know what I mean? But you know what? I feel like you had a good space mentally and spiritually. You've grown a lot. You feel me? You got your tour coming. Where the tour coming up at? Uh, I got Vegas, Texas. Uh, New Mexico, okay. Arizona. Arizona on July 23rd. I'm finna sell Monarch out by myself. It's like no help at all. I'm finna sell that bitch out for sure. That's but um, yeah, I got I got hella shit coming up right now. I got um, I even got Miami right now. I'm I'm working on New York. I'm working on um, I'm working on uh, North Carolina right now too. So. So you just finna just go on and take your stuff all over. I realize that's really how you get it. I've realized these two times that I've left California, that's really how I've gotten more exposure and more people to really, it's strangers that have messed with you more than the people that, that know you. That part, cause Austin, like from Austin to Houston, that's like home to me. Like literally, like I go out there, I get so much love. Like I'm, I'm from the hot desert. I'm from Victorville and all that. Like I can't even sell out nothing in my own city. Like my people to come, but it ain't gonna be over packed but nigga, I done went to Houston and nigga, the whole crowd was just like niggas that had love for me, you feel me? Yeah. And it's like, they knew who I was because my brother was out there and then on top of that, I went out there to their hood and the niggas showed me nothing but love. They all come out and support me, so, you feel me? I see other states really don't be having any pride in the way. Man, that's definitely for sure. Well, um, y'all make sure y'all check out my boy, you feel me? Y'all yeah, make sure y'all follow him on Instagram, you, his YouTube, his Spotify, all that. I'm gonna make sure y'all come out and check out his tour. Go ahead and let me know your Instagram name and all that again. My, my Instagram is one who is Blue Jay. My, uh, on all platforms, you can find me at Blue Jay Wang Team. W-A-N-G-T-E-A-M. Okay, y'all know what the deal is. I appreciate you coming out to Wise Coat Podcast Radio. I'm your girl, Barbie Velvet. You know what I mean? We streaming exclusively on Royal K TV every day. You feel me? Y'all make sure I hit the like and subscribe button on YouTube. I'm That's your cool. girl, Barbie Velvet, and it's a wrap. We got my boy Scorpio photos in the building. I appreciate, appreciate you. you, man, for everything. And it's a wrap. Yes, sir.